Oh my god, I really hate this house party song. Every time I play this game. Ugh, let's just change the music. Let's see, TV remote, next track, and... What? S Stephanie? Th yeah, uh, this, this, this is a banger. Let's go! Maya hoo, Maya ha, Maya ha ha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go! And hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. As you saw in the intro, we just had a different kind of music in House Party. Now how I did that is actually not by editing this video. Which is a lie. I actually did edit this video. But you know, just fucking follow this guide. I uh, modeled the game to have my own custom music. And I will tell you guys how you can do the same. Uh, you will need a few things for this. First of all, you want a script, which we will use in Unity. We want Asset Studio for reference, and we want Unity Hub. Uh, once you have downloaded those three files, and of course you have your own custom music that you want in the game, you want to go to a file explorer. Depending on where you bought House Party, you want to go to your uh, House Party files. Uh, I have bought House Party from Steam, and that means I'm going to Windows here, to Program Files, to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then House Party. From here on out, everything should be the same as for you guys, uh, so just follow this guide. Uh, you want to go to House Party Data, Streaming Assets, Audio, and Music. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of files here, uh, but only two really matter. The BG music file and the Doja DLC music file. Uh, and as the name says, the Doja DLC one is for the Doja Cat DLC. And the BG music one is for the base game. We will only modify the base game music today. Uh, because that's the one most people are familiar with. Um, so yeah. We want to drag this, the BG music file, in as a studio. There should be a green bar here. And once that's uh, completed, you want to go to the asset list. And here you see that there is six files, which are named track 0 to track 5. And that's also the names we want to give our custom music. So these are all custom music files. And I want to name them track 0, track 1, track 2, track 3, track 4, and track 5. And you should do the same. Uh, and once you've done that, you want to go to Unity Hub. Because this is the part where you are going to recreate a asset bundle. Uh, you want to go to installs and you want to install an editor and you want to install the 2021 editor. This is the same the house party developers use. So this one is compatible with the, uh, you know, with modding the music, which we are going to do today. Once you've done that, you want to make a new project. And you want to re uh, remember the name here. You don't want to press anything here. Just leave it at the default settings. Uh, but yeah, uh, you do want to remember this location here. Uh, because that's what we will need when we are done creating the asset bundle. Uh, I've already made a project because it takes a while for it to load. It can take like a minute or two. And if your PC is a bit slower, it can take uh, even longer. And you should, uh, once you open the project, you should be met with this screen. And you want to delete the scenes folder. It's not uh, going to be used, so we don't need it. However, we do want to create a new folder and we want to call this folder editor. And make sure to capitalize the E, because if we do not, the script that we are going to add to this folder will not work. Uh, so let's see, this is the script that we are using. We want to put it in the folder here, which can take a while, uh, because it needs to load it in the editor. And then we want to go back to the asset folder. In here, you want to add all your custom music. Uh, so you just select all of these, and then you put them in here. This might take around 20 to 25 seconds, depending on how good your PC is. Uh, of course, it can take even longer if your PC is not that good. Uh, but for me, it usually doesn't take longer than 30 seconds. So, now that's loading in all the tracks, uh, and now that's done, what you want to do is you want to select a track, and you want to add them to an asset bundle. We don't have one yet. It says none here. So we press new and we name it BG Music. Why are we naming it this way? Because we are basically recreating the same asset bundle as in the game files. 
So uh, we want to make a asset bundle called PG Music. This does mean if we were actually modifying the Doja DSC Music uh, asset bundle, we will be naming our asset bundle Doja DLC Music. Um, so yeah. Now we only have added track zero to the asset bundle, and of course we also want to add all the other tracks. So we go to track one here, and we just add it to PG Music. And we do the same with all the other songs here. And once we've done that, uh, we are actually going to build the asset bundle and extract it from uh, our PC. Uh, now that we have added everything to the asset bundles, we want to go to assets here, to the top left. And down on the asset, uh, assets tab, you want to press build asset bundles. This might take a while again, uh, but once it's done, we will have this folder which is called streaming assets. And right now we don't see anything, but it's, uh, it, it contains our asset bundles. Uh, and if you didn't change the download location, or if you remembered where it was, you want to go to the uh, location of this program. Um, for me, this is, this is uh, uh, at the user uh, folder, actually. So yeah, let's just go there. Uh, Windows, users, and my name. And here's my project. Here I want to go to assets, streaming assets, and here is my asset bundle, which I recreated. And all you really want to do is you want to drag this one into the game. All the other ones, they don't matter. Uh, they are a byproduct of um, making asset bundles, but this is the one that really matters. Uh, if you want the default music pack, you just go to Steam, uh, and you want to go to your properties, local files, and then you want to press verify integrity. Uh, that way you can get your original music back. Uh, so yeah. But now that we have modified the music in the game, let's see how the game will be. And now that we are in the game, you might notice that the music is actually not different from before. This is because the music that we modeled today only affects those in save games. So don't be worrying when you load into the game and you don't hear your own custom music. The menu is not affected by the modding. So what you do is you go into a random save game, it doesn't matter which one. I will do the same. And once you have spawned in a game, uh, you should hear your own music that you modded in. Uh, so yeah, that's all you really have to do uh, once you're done with modding. Uh, just going in the save game and all. Uh, but yeah. The process of modding the music in the game might be a bit tedious, but uh, right now this is the only consisting way I know of. I have heard there is a mod going on. Uh, I'm not sure about that, if there is, and it is. Uh, it works good. Of course, I might update this tutorial, but we are in the game, and as we can hear, we have the same custom music as in the intro, which means our modding did work. Uh, and if you had a music box outside here, uh, you should hear the same music here as well. Of course, since I modded all these songs uh, from the base game, I could technically change the uh, song on the uh, screen there. And I should also have this music on the other tracks in game. And I'm going to show you guys that real quick. Uh, let's get this mp3 player. Let's go. Put it in this TV dock. Or media dock. Whatever. But yeah. Uh, I'm also going to show you guys that you can actually choose another song. And it still works. Uh, I was afraid it didn't. But it does work uh, with other songs as well. So if you have more than one track. Unlike me. You can just actually uh, you know create a playlist of yourself of your own uh, with six different songs um, so yeah uh, that is basically how you mod music into the game uh, if this was helpful I would love if you left a like on this video because this is uploaded to YouTube if I'm correct uh, but either way uh, I hope you all have a nice day I hope you all enjoy modding your own music in house party and if so, uh, I'm happy uh, and I will go now. So, you know, uh, enjoy your day and bye.